In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to use NLS Investigator to select variables from the National Longitudinal Surveys. I'm going to concentrate on the National Longitudinal Survey of Youth from 1979, since this one follows people up through 2010. So we've got a long swatch of people's lives. Now I'm going to log in. And I urge you to do the same. Set up an account. It's very easy to do. So here's the study that I want to work with, National Longitudinal Survey of Youth, 1979. And I'm going to go look at, um, I've already selected a bunch of variables in this first one, but I'm going to um, uh, start again. So I've got two variables that are already selected, uh, I believe. Let's see. So. Uh, I'm going to discuss various ways in which one can search. So the first way is to use the index and we're going to look at uh, marital status. That's the thing that's most important for us. And so here we go, marriage and cohabitation. Uh, so um, let's see, we're going to look at um, summary measures. And marital status is the one we want. Uh, so here it goes. Uh, and I'm going to concentrate on the years 2000 and 2010. So actually I'll just do 2000 here because that'll make life easier. Okay, so I selected that variable and now I need uh, I need a bunch of other variables and so let's go take a look uh, and search. Let's use another method for searching. So we've done marital status. Um, I'm going to pick uh, uh, an area of interest and I can choose from a whole bunch of different things here. Let me go with with uh, key variables. Okay, key variables are, are pretty important ones. And to this I'm going to add, so I'm going to add another criterion. The other criterion is going to be the, uh, the uh, survey year. So let's go with uh, 2000 right now. Um, and let's add that. And now we've got um, 30, excuse me, add would have added another criterion. Here are 34 key variables actually. All right, so let's see, we've got the type of residence, uh, family size, marital status we've chosen already, highest grade completed as of May 1st survey year. That's pretty important. Let me click on that one. This one's kind of created, uh, and uh, so let's see, we've got a bunch of people here, and there are 8,033 answers. 4,653 people were not interviewed in uh, the year um, 2000. So let's uh, let's go back. That's the code book, and let's go back to take a look here. Those are the things we selected. Go back to variable search, and let's choose that one. Okay. What else might we want? Well, how about age at the interview? Uh, and once we can take a look at that. It turns out most of these people are in uh, their almost 40 years old, 39, 40, etc. Back to variable search, we've selected that. Um, and um, is their current residence urban rural? You might want to go back and look in, at an earlier period. So I'll show you this. Um, we select all these variables. Let's go back and choose 1979. Uh, and so we're going to go choose survey year and we're going to pick 1979 which is the first year that they came into the survey they asked a bunch of, of questions about people at that time so uh, current residents are the urban rural that's of some interest um, and let's see so um, the region might be helpful to us let's see what that's about region of the country All right. So let's choose that, and um, what the, how big a family were they in? Was the family in poverty in 1978? Okay, so uh, there were a fair number of people in poverty. I think they oversampled poor people in this study. Okay, okay, all right, so a bunch of variables here. Let's do another type of, of search. So um, we, uh, we will remove key variables and instead of survey year we're going to look in for a word and title and now go out 
There are lots and lots of words. I'm interested in religion. So, religion. So let's display variables. Um, what religion was this person raised? Let's choose that. So now we want to learn something about uh, the number of children that people have. How will we do that? Well, word and title might be useful. Uh, question text might be useful. Let's, uh, let's first look at word and title. Uh, and instead of religion, let's go to children. Children's children. And we can add that, take a look at that. They were and display those variables. Oh, there are now 1159 of them. That's not too helpful. Let's go, let's go uh, add the survey year 2000. So survey year. And we'll pick 2000 here. Okay, that ad, I keep on forgetting. I don't need that. So uh, lots of stuff here. There are many, many things here. So this is going to be a bit of a problem because uh, we want the number of children that they actually have at the moment. Um, number of children ever born. Let's see whether that's how helpful that is. Well, it looks pretty good because uh, if we look at that, we see that there are 8,033 responses, so there's nothing missing. Uh, and uh, um, notice it says Appendix 5 Supplemental Fertility File Variables. We might want to go take a look at that uh, in learning about documentation here. So, uh, but this, this looks quite helpful. So we're going to go back to Variable Search, and we were number of children ever born. Um, Okay, so for now we've got a we've got a data set, and the next step to do is to uh, is to we can review the variables. Uh, we see a bunch of things here, and let's go to save download. So we want to save the tag set, and let's call this. I'm going to call this for my purposes N L S Y V V two, uh, and save this. I want to save this to uh, the server, so let's go that way. And it's been saved on there. Okay, now let's go to uh, uh, advanced download. That's what I'm interested in here. And notice uh, you may have these things checked already. Let's not have them. What we want is the stated dictionary file. We need a code book, a description file, comma delimited data file. Uh, and so that, that, that's really all we need. Um, so uh, let's download. So uh, it takes a little while to do that, and it's creating a zip file. Let's see. I've already, I've, as you can see, I created another one before, but this one's about 154.5 gigabytes. Let's save this. Uh, and uh, the year results will vary, but uh, what I need to do for this is to extract all files and uh, hit extract here. Okay, so it's sitting there, and now I can work with this. But that will that will be a subject of uh, another screen test.